Hello folks, it is time for another video, it is time for another 40k rant. If you like what I do, the subscribe button is down below, and also if you like what I do, make sure you support Composite Games. They are down below, and if you use the promo code Northern Exile, then you can get 5% off your order at checkout with them when you get your models. So if you want 40k, Age of Sigmar, Old World, any of that good stuff, D&D, whatever you want, head on over there, get your models in, get your games in. And you can help me out in the process. My Patreon is also down below. If you want to bypass all that and just buy me a pint for the weekend, you can do so. It's WrestleMania this weekend. So, you know, I'll be drinking it a little bit. It might help a little bit. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Because today we have what I would consider to be a quiet rant. I'm not going to be going, you know, hell for leather here. Um, this is not a... Well, I'm, I'll get into it, shall we? Why I walked away from Warhammer 40,000. Yeah, it's one of them videos. And, and the time has come for me to just out myself as somebody who is not a uh, you know wise man in terms of the rules of the current edition. So, I really didn't want to make a video like this. Mainly because I love Warhammer 40,000. And those of you who know me will know that the game is very, very important to me. Not just the painting and modelling side of it, which I do prefer and I've always preferred. No, the game also has an incredible and left an indelible mark on my life. My earliest memories of 40k are of the days around a friend's house in the early 2000s. Slinging dice and watching my 3rd edition Eldar get massacred by space marines because they were so hard to use compared to the relative ease with which you could play space marines well back then. Still... I had fun. I loved it. Warhammer 40,000 taught me two things very early on. The first is how to be a better loser, and the second is how to engage with others in a setting like that, competitively, right? It was a place to learn those skills and practice them, and a lot of the guys in my local games workshop here in Liverpool, back then, they actually allowed games in the store, imagine that, they would work with me to get better at these things, and I loved it, and my family loved it. They thought it was a really good influence on me growing up, and it was. So, it goes without saying that this is not a great video to make for me, which is why I'm not going to be sitting here all fire and brimstone, ranting and raving. You know, I may get a bit animated later on, but this is where we are. There won't be a lot of shouting or anything like that, because I'm just kind of sad beyond anything else at the current state of things. There are many reasons why I've choked, why I have chosen to walk away from Warhammer 40,000 as a game, not just 10th edition. That's one thing that people don't seem to get. They seem to think I'm done with 10th. You know what I mean? I'm walking away from 10th. No. The entire game. I, I'm, I'm done with Games Workshop and Warhammer 40,000 as a game. Um, I, I just can't do it anymore. I've, I've, I've had enough. I'm tired. I'm tired and, 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 I'm, and I'm leaving the game where it is and I'm moving on, you know. I'll never leave the hobby in terms of doing my models, in terms of, you know, getting the odd game in of different rule sets here, there and everywhere. But in terms of actually actively playing Warhammer 40k as my main game, I'm done. I'm walking away. It doesn't matter if it's 10th, 11th, whatever it is, I'm done. Um, my, my trust has been abused too many times. And I'll get into that as we get into the video. So... <sighs> I'm walking away from the entire thing. I love the models. I will always be into those and the lore too. But the tabletop game itself is something I'm taking a drastic step backwards from. Why? Well, there are a few reasons. And I've named four that have extensive explanations. The first one is that it's a bad game. Simple. Warhammer 40,000 is a bad game. It's a bad game tabletop uh, uh, war game. It's not very good, right? It's pretty self-explanatory, really. Warhammer 40,000 is not the market leader when it comes to game experience on the tabletop anymore, if it ever was. To be honest with you, I think that title could go to one of a few games from One Page Rules to Hail Caesar to Battletech and a host of others. Warhammer 40,000 is a slow, plodding and exhausting game of gotcha tactics that lead to almost complete decision paralysis if you were anywhere but at a tournament. And the attitude of those players I will get into later. 
but for most who play this game, it is simply a tediously, a very tedious experience. A ridiculously tedious experience. Stratagems weigh the game down to the point where I think they should not be in it at all. The sheer amount of special rules that permeate every army still slow down the game to an absolute crawl at times. In my opinion, no game should require you to stand there for 45 minutes doing nothing by design whilst your opponent has their turn. And that's if they know their rules well. If not, I hope you brought a chair and a decent book to read. You're going to be there for a while. I remember the game in 3rd edition and the earlier editions being about blowing stuff up. Having weird stories happen on the tabletop that you'd laugh about on the way home or the way to get a pint. Those games you still stood there for a while whilst your opponent did things but you were so engrossed in what was happening that you just couldn't help yourself. And the games back then, I know from experience, were about half as long. And even if they did go kind of as long as they do today, they were much more engaging because the, the rules were much more free-flowing and, you know, get on with it sort of a thing. Uh, games were over in what seemed like a flash and you, were ready for, and you were ready for another one. On a Thursday night at Games Workshop, I'd get three games in and take them in my stride. This, remember, is a 13-year-old kid, as I was back then, with a really bad attention span. Now, these days, I finish one game of Warhammer 40,000 and I don't want to look at another rule or model for the next week. I think this channel is about intangibles a lot of the time. I think this is where I get caught up, right? A lot of you guys seem to judge me like I'm I'm all spec tactics or somebody, or someone like that, you know, who should know every single facet of every single rule ever. No, this channel is about the feeling of playing Warhammer 40,000, what it feels like to be in the hobby. If you want rules, then head on, head on over to All Specs. It's a really good channel, right? Or something like that. My channel, my channel, as I just said, is about how it feels to play Warhammer 40,000. And right now, it feels pretty dull and draining to me. Uh, number two, the prices are extortionate and bloody greedy. This is no news at all to you, but Games Workshop's practices of pricing and model stocking are abysmal. I happened to be one of the people who really wanted to get into the old world, but I just didn't trust Games Workshop and that they were going to stand by their word and give us their, that old game back. And lo and behold, we had yet another statement from Games Workshop saying, you know, sorry, we didn't realise there would be such a demand for the old world. That's why it sold out so quickly. Ha, ah, sorry about that, you know. Well, I'm sorry, Games Workshop. It's your fucking job to know that the game might sell that well. The fact that you didn't even know shows the complete lack of respect you've gotten for it and the people who play it. So many old world enthusiasts were left cold by the release that you may as well have not brought it out at all. Of the dozen or so of, uh, of the old greybeards that I know who walked away from the hobby but really wanted to get back into it with, 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 with the old world, right? Only one managed to get themselves a copy, and he's now got no one to play with. This is before we talk about the extortionate bloody prices that those boxes arrived at. They are insulting, and they keep rising. I am in a very, very privileged position, in that my relationship with Composite Games means I can elect to not get paid cash by them for my shoutouts on my videos. Instead, they send me models when I need them for a project like the Void Talons, or for a prize for one of you guys. Without Composite Games, I would not be doing the hobby at all. Remember that. And I work basically three jobs. I have a family to take care of, a house to pay for, a life to live. Games Workshop have priced me out of the hobby completely beyond the odd birthday or Christmas present. And I know I'm not the only one. Okay? I'm not rich by any means. I'm not even earning what you would you what many people would consider to be, you know, a, a, a vast salary. I'm doing okay, but even doing okay, I can't afford this hobby. I can't afford the um, hobby guilt, do you know what I mean? It costs so much that I would look at the money I spent on Warhammer and then look at something else that I could have gotten 
like for the house or food that week or, or other things and i think that money could be probably be better used elsewhere do you know what i mean i'm a responsible adult and as a responsible adult i can no longer entertain getting one of forty thousand figures and playing the game you know at least not without composite games no chance Number three, the rules are out of date before you even get them home. This is a biggie. This is quite a biggie. This is my main bugbear of the argument. Games Workshop cannot write rules properly. They just can't. Codex after Codex has been released that is either dead on arrival or woefully overpowered and meta-pushing. This cycle happens with every single edition of the game. It releases in a playable state, although with many issues, but at least most of the armies are kind of balanced. Then the codexes drop, and the arms race starts. Games Workshop has no incentive to not release brokenly powerful codexes. They want you to buy them and have the newest, shiniest thing. Instead, they pump out codexes with ever-increasing rule ceilings of power, always chasing the next cash grab. This is not the case for every codex, as Grey Knight players will tell you, but there is always one that breaks the mould, like Imperial Guard in 8th edition or Leagues of Otan in 9th. There is always that one codex where the Mask of Games Workshop slips and you realise the codex system is not about giving you extra rules and options to play with, it's just another opportunity to take your fucking money. I'm going to have a sip of tea here. Lovely stuff. In 10th, we have seen a new phenomenon. At the very beginning of the new edition, I was very excited about electronic rules. Here I thought it was an opportunity for Games Workshop to do away with codexes altogether. You know? Instead, I thought they would bring out paper codexes only for those who really want them as a lore piece or commemorative book. That would be great. The rules themselves for your army would be free and instantly downloadable, amendable, and easily updated at the drop of a hat. Instead, we kind of got the opposite, although some of that did come true. We have complete codex runs that are defined as, you know, the definitive rule source for your army, only for those rules you bought to already be out of date by the time you get the book home to read it. This is because Games Workshop screwed up the rules you bought, making them too vague or too powerful slash underpowered or costly slash cheap. Your book is now just a very expensive law repository, and even then, you can get that on any, on any wiki you go to, and it's free. It's this lack of respect for the player's time and money that was one of the two main factors in me walking away. Goobertown said it best in a recent video the other day when he said, and I quote, I, I'm paraphrasing, but you know, this is what he said. The rules change faster than my want to learn or play them, unquote. That is exactly where I am with the rules of, of one 40,000. The rules change much faster than my want or learn to play them. What am I doing? The rules change much faster than my what than my want to learn or play them. That's it. That, that was the quote. I'm always getting it wrong. I'm such a fucking moron, dude. You know. Anyway. By the time I've learned all my cool rules, I get to game. Any game that I go to, right? And I discover from one of my obsessive 40k friends that what I had learned all week is already out of date and there is an FAQ or update to my data slates that completely changes my plans for that game. So what was the fucking point in learning them then? You you don't disrespect my time, all right? That's fine. You don't I don't respect your game either, right? You don't respect my time, I don't respect your game. Done. We're, we're done. I'm walking away, right? That's happened to me twice in this edition. Twice in this edition, once with Grey Knights and once with Space Marines. Where I've gone to a game, having learnt my rules, back to back, having done everything that, I need to, everything that I need to do, having a list that is really tailored to what I want to do within the game, right? And then I get there, 
and my friend who is an avid 40k player, he's, he's big in the meta, tells me my army is no longer viable. You know? At least not at the points level we're talking about. And I, ju and I, I just can't anymore. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it and I don't want to do it anymore. Um, again, the last time I'll repeat it, the rules change much faster than my want to learn or play them. I really couldn't have said it better myself. Really couldn't. That's why I've stolen it. Number four, and this is maybe the most controversial one. I think everybody will agree with the last ones, but this is maybe the most controversial one. The competitive scene is just not my scene. If you enjoy tournaments and playing to win at all costs, then all power to you. But that is not me, and it never will be. The thing is, when this part of the hobby was ring-fenced and like over there at conventions and official events at stores and, and exhibition centres, it was all well and good. I loved it. The competitive people had somewhere to go and get their games in. Absolutely. Today, we see the competitive attitude like this seeping into every other facet of the game and making finding a simple, enjoyable and laid-back experience harder and harder to find at all. For the more casual player like me, and most of the people who grew up with the older editions, the game feels more like a chore already without playing somebody who is obsessed with the meta and winning at all costs. This is not to say there are, there are not chill people in the competitive scene. There are. It's just that the prevailing attitudes of the competitive scene are simply not for me, and they are seen more and more now in the once casual and fluffy game spaces that I used to frequent. One such attitude is when I bring up that it takes a long time to play 40k, because it does, and tournament goers respond with the you're just slow lol argument. This is exactly the attitude I'm talking about. It is exhausting, childish, and kind of fucking lame. It is the exact same attitude of this problem isn't affecting me, therefore it does not exist. Just because you have dedicated your entire life away from your job, if you have one, to learning and perfecting the game and every part of its meta before heading to a tournament, that does not mean that the rest of the hobby base is prepared to do so. I applaud your ability to play the game at breakneck speed because you know the rules to most of the codexes so you don't need to double check things. But I also think you need to remember that the vast majority of people in the hobby do not have the time or the desire to follow suit. Through sheer osmosis and imitation, the competitive side of the hobby has seeped into every other facet of its gaming space. Now, it seems, you cannot move for rules lawyers constantly questioning you, even if you show them your rules, just to slow down the game, of people being completely, bringing completely overpowered and tailored lists, should you make the simple mistake of, I don't know, telling them what kind of army you're going to play. This has happened to me a lot. And players getting overly angry or serious whilst you're simply there to throw some dice and have some fun. I'm here to blow shit up. I don't care what 19 modifiers your character gives to the unit next to it, for fuck's sake. Alright? That's just where I am. Simply where I am. And the worst thing, do you know what, you know what really annoys me about this? Is that when you go to a tournament and you encounter players who know their shit, the games move much quicker because, again, they know their shit. The reason why their attitude coming into the casual gaming space to work so poorly is because casual gamers trying to be competitive gamers are really, really, really bad at it. And so most of the time they're getting their own rules wrong whilst wagging their finger at you telling you that your codex rules are wrong, right? They just don't know how... They don't know the game inside out like, like normal tournament players do. So they're just really bad at it and the game slows down and slows to a crawl. I'm not saying that when tournament players come into your gaming space that the games become, that the games slow down. They don't, right? If anything, they speed up because they just knock you off the table in two turns and that's the end of the game, right? What I'm saying is when the attitudes seep into casual players and start twisting them, casual players do everything casually, including being tournament players. 
which means their games slow down to a fucking crawl. So in a weird way, I'm not really blaming tournament players. I'm blaming the osmosis. I'm blaming everybody else. Guys, tournament players over there. If you want to do it, go over there. But don't do it in your local gaming store. Don't do it with, with people that you don't know. Just play a nice fluffy game. A normal game of 40k. Get some practice in. Learn the rules as you game. That's what you're supposed to do the vast majority of the time. Not playing for blood. If you're a casual player who's seen things on Twitch, Twitch is a big factor in this as well, by the way. It's been the, one of the worst things for gaming that's happened in 40k. Don't be watching Twitch and thinking that that's the norm. It's not. Right? The norm is you gaming with your friends and having a good time. That's what it's supposed to be. All right? Turfing out your friends in two turns or less is not fun for them, and you're an arsehole for trying to do that to them. All right? Cool. So in conclusion, I guess when you mix all these things together, that's why I've left Warhammer 40,000 as a game. And most Games Workshop product as games for that matter. I love the models and the lore, and I will always be into them, and my channel will always be about them. But the game to me is simply not a fun place when there are alternatives like one-page rules out there that I enjoy infinitely better. I just don't have that excuse anymore to give my time, so much of my time, to a game that I don't enjoy. You know? I just don't. I, I just don't. And this is the, the second edition in a row, maybe third. If you look at the end of 8th of edition, right? Maybe the third edition in a row, perhaps fourth. I mean, 7th had formations in it. My God. You know, maybe it's four editions in a row that I've just not enjoyed. I've not thought were very good. And I just need to get out of it I, I i don't want to be surrounded by negativity anymore i don't want to be if, if the if 40k has moved on in the game to be in a, in a space that I, is not me fine i'll go somewhere else you know this is me gatekeeping myself remember when i said gatekeepers you know are good as long as you do it healthily well this is me gatekeeping myself if this is what the gaming side of, of the hobby is now in 40k then i'll move on and do something else i'll still use my models to play games with I'll just play one-page rules, right? It's much more fun, it's much more quick, and I get much more balanced games in, and I have a lot of fun with one-page rules, right? Absolutely brilliant, brilliant stuff, and I really do enjoy it. Um, so I am enjoying my hobby right now, right? Whenever I get a game of one-page rules in, I'm really enjoying it. But it's just a shame that the flagship game, the game, is not one that I can really get behind or tell you that, you know, you should go out and play it because I can't recommend it. I don't like it as a thing. So I've made the decision to step away and walk away from it. Controversial, I know, for a 40k channel. But as I said before, my channel isn't really about 40k. It's about the hobby. And it's about the intangible feelings that you get whilst being in the hobby. Because that's what's most important to me. Right? What's most important to me is those feelings. Of when you were a kid in Games Workshop throwing dice with that warm, fuzzy feeling in your chest... When Christmas was just round the corner when you were a kid and you're going into Games Workshop, playing games, having fun with your friends, talking to the staff in there, reading the White Dwarfs, reading what was coming out, right? Absolutely getting excited for what was happening. When you're an adult and you're getting to the gaming centre, the convention centre with your friends and you're rolling some dice and you're having some fun, you're playing some games, then you're having a pint later on and talking about the lore and the background and all, all the different things that are going on in the hobby, that's the hobby to me, and that's what this channel is about. This channel isn't about you've got a minus one plus X nine niner to save this saving throw, and you've got you're in cover, so you got this or that. No, 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 no. It exhausts me. Take that and fuck off with it. I can't be bothered. I don't like it. All right. If you've got the time to play forty k to that level, all power to you, and I respect you for it. Right. But please respect me and my decision to say, Do you know what. That ain't for me. So, other, you know, other than spoiling your good time, I'm going to take myself out of here and say, look, I'll go and play one page rules over here. You guys play 40k over here. Not a not an issue whatsoever. You guys have fun, right? Um, which is why, when we do do the event in June, okay, it is coming. The event in June, much quicker than I thought it'd be. But we do do that event at Composite Games. 
it will be one page rules. All right? Because I, I do not want to play a kill team event or anything like that where we have such swingy games that don't go well. No, no, no. We will play small one page rules battles that will be an hour or an hour, maybe an hour and a half each. That's what we'll do all day. Small little tournament for people with a nice big prize at the end of it. That's what we'll do. All right? Um, I love you a long time. I will speak to you really soon. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Hobby Nightmares. It is Friday tomorrow. It'll be a more upbeat video. I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you enjoy 40k, even in 10th edition, all power to you. Put it in the comment section down below. Let me know why you enjoy the current edition of Warhammer 40,000. I'd be very interested to know because I'm just not there right now. I love you all. Have a wonderful hobby time. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye now.